Good luck, everybody. Let's all just take it easy for a little while. Yeah, long race. Get through the first few laps and see where we all are at and kind of figure it out from there. Damn, I missed the start for like one second. I literally just walked in the door from work, man. My wife registered me and clicked join and everything. We're on one to go. You'll be starting on the outside. The road is closed. Everybody watch your left rears, make sure they don't blow out. Yeah, beautiful. Hell, it was almost every tire that was having problems. I mean, I know the left rear primarily, but everything was falling apart. Yeah, that's true. There was right fronts, left fronts, left rears. I didn't see a right rear, though. Yeah, I didn't either, but... I think, uh, as much as Goodyear wants to put it on NASCAR, I think... With it being more than one tire blown out, there's a problem. You see extra camber they gave them. Alright, what happened between Jeff Gordon and Clint Boyer? I missed the end of the race. <laughs> oh, Boyer got a flat tire instead of holding it and going to pit road. He spun out on purpose. But fly back in that seat real quick. Get those belts real quick. The problem wasn't that good wheel. years. Child the team pushing it too hey, far. Off. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, it should be actually fine. There's the other problem. Green flag. Inside. Still there at your door. Clear low. Inside. Clear low. Inside. Still there. Inside's clear. Sorry, 27. I wasn't sure you check up that much, man. Oh, yeah. I just got a little loose. Watch out. On the bottom inside. 48.4. 2. 1. Still there. Clear, clear. Inside, inside. Still inside. Still inside. Looks clear, clear, clear. Forty point nine zero five.
I've got to change my steering shit. One in the grass. Good save. Hey Marvin, how you doing? Good, yourself? Oh, I'm all damn well cold up here in Michigan. Well, it's pretty damn cold over here in New Jersey uh, as well. Welcome to winter, baby. <laughs> winter and spring. Hey, they're calling blizzard conditions here Wednesday. Luckily, I'll be in Michigan Tuesday. Where you live down south, Marvin? Virginia. 5, 1, 2. Huh? Oh, yellow, yellow, yellow. Caution, caution. Track and record. Too bad. Looks like you'll be lining up behind the 16. You're going to be lining up behind the 8. Too good. You're going to be lining up behind the 8. What the hell, 3? What are you doing wrecking me on the straightaway, man? <laughs> I didn't realize you were checking up like that, man. I'm sorry. I'm around I mean, there's a damn corner there. You got to get out of the throttle to make the corner. I mean, you hit me right at the Don't end of the straightaway. The get behind the 16. Yeah, exactly. You got it off it earlier than I thought. Sorry, man. Um, that's our conversation, Marvin. Are you from Virginia or, or New Jersey? Virginia. I'm a truck driver. I'm just in New Jersey tonight. And then I'll be in Michigan uh, Tuesday. Uh, thanks for it. Where are you at in New Jersey right now? Bloomsbury up on uh, I-78. Wait, so Marvin, do you just play in your truck? Yeah, he does. Or, I'll let him answer for himself. Yeah, yeah, I've got uh, a Wheel Stand Pro, a uh, uh, Fanatec CSW, and a set of Club Sport V2s. And Got a laptop. I set everything up back here in my sleeper and close the curtain and drive the trail. The road will be open. That's North. that ass. Yeah. yeah it is. I drive all day so I can drive all night. That's a dedication. Can anyone hear me? Here we get your mat. I'm my video is out. My video's out. Get behind the safe car. Well, you're sitting. You're sitting right in the middle of the track. I hope I didn't hit anyone. It's froze. Well, that blows. I mean, I guess I do okay for a laptop. I usually run, the, run about 70 frames. Uh, don't usually have issues. Awesome. Sorry about that. No. Hey, damn good race movie there, 21. That was fun, man. Guys, one, two, one, two. Line up behind the 10-4. Keep it up. Like I said, I know I'm not the fastest guy in here. I just want to have a good, clean race. Yeah, me as well. You'll be lining up behind the 13. I'm kind of like Tony Stewart right now. You know what I mean? Hey, man, he almost won, so just stick with her. I really thought Kurt had that thing won at the end. We can't hear you, Keith. Part of Michigan are you in, Bonehead? I am about 10 miles east of Flint. 
I'll be in Wicks on Tuesday afternoon to unload, and then I'm going back to Toledo and raise hell with the uh, manufacturer on my trailer. One to go. You'll be starting on the outside. Oh, it's always fun. Someone up here, uh, I got a call, and they lost their trailer. They thought someone stole it, and it uh, turns One, out they just minute, parked 40, it around six, the building. Point six, six, three. You're going to be lining up the Wow, well, yeah, I, I paid 65 grand for a trailer a year ago. And all the damn wiring on it's corroding, and it, all my lights are, are just shutting off. I'm having to go in, piece wire in, and every damn thing else to fix it. And I called him Friday and raised hell about it. He's like, well, bring it over here as soon as you can. He, he said, we'll rewire it for you. I said, damn straight you're going to rewire it. You know, I said, the, the factory wires are good. It's all the aftermarket stuff they put on it. Hey, I'm from Toledo, Martin. Where did you, you get that set up from? Can the free or somebody look at my car see what I'm damaged, man? I got hit on pit road and I hit the wall earlier. It's a Mack trailer I bought over in uh, eastern Ohio, but I had the tarp kit installed over at uh, Fast Track there in Perrysburg at Tarp Stop. Ah, that's cool. Okay. And so I'll probably spend the night there Tuesday night and Wednesday morning until they get me fixed up. Your front right's a little dinged up, but the rest of your car looks good, man. Thank you. But nice deep breath here. You're ready to go. Oh, both face cars off. Be ready. Ready. Green flag. Inside. Clear, one minute, forty-two point two eight six. Inside, inside. Still there. Wrecking up front, wrecking, wrecking, wrecking. Slowing on the bottom there, front. Oh my Still god. Caution. Come on. Watch for debris. I hit the wall and got trapped. My right, check. Looks like you're going to be lining up behind the one. Very good, Keith. I'm trying to hit the wall. Hey, hey. Did your uh, steering wheel come off or something last night? Uh, you took a sharp left and a sharp right, took me and this weather guy out in a B race, I think. No, that was in a... Uh, I didn't run a B race, so it would have to be A fixed or A open, I guess. One car coming, one car coming. Yeah, I'm trying, man. I'm freaking car's jacked now. No, it didn't come off. It my screen froze, and the damn thing went into the wall, and then I, it come off the wall, and then my screen appeared, and then I just well, and I just took it straight down to pit road and got out. I'll go. I'll go in the pits here, guys. Sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop up here on top side of four here. I don't want to pass this pit lane road. I'm supposed to wait on one. Alright, you're gonna have to come around at 28. Come around Roger that, at 31. I figured something happened, but uh, I think that was the A regular. Alright, buddy. Yeah, line up behind I believe it was. Hey, Steve, isn't uh, Flat Rock like Speedway up, behind up behind close to 20? Outside of you, 31. Hey, right, right, guy, into you. Alright, you're gonna uh, have to come around at 31. Turn one, contact wreck, and I saw Jared Hess got the Rocky Dog. Let them by. On the outside. Lying up behind the 16. Unbelievable. I got three minutes worth of damage. Nah, uh, here, that's easy to fix, man. You'll have plenty of time. You may lose one lap, but you get it back on a lucky dog. Come in to be behind the 24. Well, I'm really sorry about that. I hit the wall and I just bounced down and you were there. Yeah, there's nothing you can do about it, man. It's alright. I just need to learn to calm down a little bit. 
Hey, Steve. Where's the pace car at now? Going to turn three. Hey, at least your monitor didn't shut off on you and go blank and freeze on you. Hey, like mine did the other day when I was leading this race. This happens all the time. All right, buddy. Like Line up behind you. Line going I've never had that, but occasionally I, I'll get a stutter, but it's it's very rare. I mean, usually, if I'm stuttering, there's other people in the room stuttering. Oh, I stutter all the time. Well, yeah, but that's only when you're looking at hot women. Huh. Nah. Mate, Craig got your graphics and shit turned up too high with this many people. Mine they used to do it. I'm guessing I'm going to have to drop it all the way down. I mean, I run high, 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 and then low for the crowd, but... I'm only getting 59 frames right now, and I used to get like 190 to 200. I don't know what happened, so I'm thinking the video card is about to shit the bed. Excuse my language. I've got everything low on mine and the crowd off, and I'm running like 75 frames. I, w I wouldn't worry too much about it yet, Matt, because uh, I have a NVIDIA 660. Uh, and I can run like max everything at times and uh, like every now and then I'll get it to where I just need to restart my computer don't know what it is I think everything's just bogged down or something and I get like 40 or 50 frames when usually I can get like 400 my guess is you gotta restart it and dump the memory I did already I actually just restarted before I got in here and then, you know, no more than All right, looks two like laps in the race. <laughs> what does P stand for? That's uh, it's the paging for the uh, video card. Yeah, it's freaking out right now. 26, do you have a mic, Dave? Yeah, I do. Can you, can you take a look at my damage? Let me go. Be lined up on the outside. You're gonna be lining up behind the eight. Yeah, pretty right, quickly. Line up uh, behind the eight. One minute forty-nine point seven three four. Hey, Steve is uh, Flat Rock Speedway up there around Plant. Back end looks all right. Uh, the what? what? All right, thanks, man. It's closer to Toledo. It's like uh, exit 30 on 75 North. Yeah, that's what I'd say about exit 30. Because Flint is like, oh shit, I can't even remember what Flint is. I usually take I-96 though down to like Detroit and everything. I don't take 75. Right. Flat, stop. Flat Rock's just a little bit north of Monroe then. Yes. Yeah, I've heard they got some good racing. I'd like to stop in there one weekend and check it out. Yeah, it's short little bullring. Yeah, my bucket list has got Slinger on it. I want to get up there this summer. You guys don't want to go? We're going this time, bye. Yeah, but slide back in your seat, man. Give those belts a good check there. So how does this points deal work if you uh, run two races and you're having them? Be ready. Best race. Green flags out. One minute forty-two point four three two. Inside. Still there. You're clear him inside. On your clear, clear.
inside. Still inside. 42.162. Still there. Clear low. Inside, inside, inside. Clear. Inside. Clear. Yeah, on the fence. Yep. Got one in the wall right along the front stretch on the globe top, number 13. 40.693. Yeah, I'm done, guys. Have fun. For debris, close. 23, you get a uh, hit the wall coming out of the turn, uh, turn two, I guess. Yeah, I followed Dylan. Looks I mean, like Dana got in. The... Yeah, I did the same shit. I followed it over in front of me right into it. I barely touched. Who was it that was asking about points for these races? That was me, Jason. Yeah, it's uh. 25%, like what it does is it takes 25% of the races you run in a week and averages the points of those. So if you run two races, it takes the better of the two. If you run three races, it takes the best of the three, the best of the three. If you run four races, it takes the best of the four. If you run five, though, then it takes your best two and averages them, so on and so forth, up to eight, you know, however you go. Yeah, but this series only has four races, so it just takes your best race. Yeah, that's what I thought too, for this one. It's open. Okay, 10-4, thanks guys. Hey Marvin, what are you using for internet in that truck? I've got a Verizon 4G jetpack. I've only got certain places I stop, though. When I stop, I run a speed test and a ping test. And I see if it's a suitable place. If not, I go on down the road. <laughs> see, I like that shit. That's what's awesome. Like, if uh, I've been in rural places where I can't get internet, like 4G, so if I had the option to just go down the street and look for better internet, I would. Got the lucky dog. Let them buy on the outside. I've been there in the doctor in my house to get somewhere so I could race. Alright, looks like you're going to be lining up behind the 24 behind the seven. Since I pulled out the short track stuff, this is the only thing I can do to get my fix. That's the cage right there. You run the same route every week? No, I... I'm pretty much all over the southeast. During the summer months, I run from New York City to Chicago and south. During the winter months, I hit Maine, Connecticut, Mass, and those same areas. There's just no freight during the summer seven. months in those areas. I mean, there's freight there, but it don't pay worth a damn. In the winter, when the snow's flying, you know, nobody wants to be in it, so, you know, I go. Uh, same with New York City. Nobody wants to go to New York City, so I go there year round because I pretty much set my price. I wouldn't want to go to New York City, whether it was summer or winter. It's not bad. I mean, the first, it took me about seven trips to get used to where everything's at, where the exits are, where you need to be, and, and how to get everywhere. I mean, even downtown. So it's stressful for the first few trips because traffic is a bitch. Everybody's impatient. You got to signal like three miles ahead, and you still end up forcing your way in. But for the money, it's worth the risk. Uh, on average, if I take a load from Chicago to New York City, I clear four thousand dollars on that trip. That's not a bad deal, then. 
Right. Usually, any time I can get a New York City run, I'll make six or seven thousand that week. You're in Bloomington right now, Bloomingdale. Bloomsbury, New Jersey. No, I know, but where? At the that's the TA truck stop. That's 78. Yeah, exit seven on I 78. Yep, 10-4, I know you are. Hey, uh, Steve and guys up front here, man. Um, if I lose it, I'll take it to the grass, so don't worry about me just passing on the outside if you can. Yeah, you should see some of the looks I get from people. I mean, I actually sat back here on my bed, and I've got a buddy who uh, who drives, and he, he's on here too. I think Steve's running with him, so I'm very high. But he actually sets his up on his dash and sets in his passenger seat. And by God, he gets some strange looks in the truck stops. <laughs> That's awesome. You ever run with any of them NASCAR or Hollers? Yeah, I did uh, Bristol week. Uh, let me go up to with go. Uh, Paul One, Menard. Uh, and, uh, two, three. Chase Unfortunately, up. you're going to be on the outside. I think one of the coolest accidents I did was uh, when I was endurance testing a vehicle this trimester for our dealership. Um, I had stopped on, I think it was I-69 just west of Lansing by the, or east of Lansing by MSU. And I was parked in a parking lot racing. And uh, the college students were like, what the fuck? Yeah, I get that. You know, like, I'll go somewhere and uh, and do a, to make a delivery. And I've got an iRacing sticker on the side of my truck. And everybody's like, what the hell is iRacing? And I tell them about it. And then I, I bring out my wheel stand and show it to them. And they're like, well, that's awesome. Of course, I'm not quite sure what DOT would have to say about it, so we'll, we'll have to save that for another day. Huh. Yeah, because is that supposed to be your sleep time? They'll probably be all right, but as long as you don't try to drive the truck with it. Uh, technically, technically, I'm on a 34-hour break over the weekend. Uh, I'm supposed to be in bed like 10 o'clock, but... You know, I'll log it like I'm already in bed, so it'll be all right. Man, the thing gets boring. We're in a good spot. We got hey, uh, can't you, uh, a beer stand when you want to. Right so you would, you know, uh, your brain. Right, Bob, yeah. the pace car is off. Go right behind the door. Green flag. Everybody's rolling. Open, open. Good job, man. Keep it up. Doing a great job, man. One minute, 47. Point zero, shift, sorry. Seven. Inside, inside. Still there at your door. Yeah. Oh, right. On the bottom. Inside. Oh, so up like a brick. Still there at your door. Clear. Inside. Clear, clear, Ooh. clear. Really had to that baby. Still there. That baby stuck down there for you, didn't it? Clear, clear, clear. Only because I made it. Sorry about that, Michael. Keep pushing like a... Uh, man, I'm in the grass again. I want in the ground. Still there at your the door. Clear. 43.061. 21, you're going to have to watch about coming across traffic like that. Well, then I'll let you just fucking uh, dive on me in the car there, man. Well, next time you cross my nose like that, I'm not going to worry about putting you in the fence either. Inside. Whatever. If you have to dive on me to pass you, then go right ahead. Still there. 40.473. Outside. Outside. One only. Clear. So you're right there with them, bud. Doing a great job. Good job, man. Nice and solid. Okay, 
you know, the cool little story is I've got the most laps dead, I think, of uh, all NIS drivers. And I know for a fact in my division I do. Still there. Clear, clear. You're pulling me about three tenths of lap, but I'm just back here riding around. See, don't tell me you're riding around too. You don't break my heart. I thought I was fast. Well, I'm not running as hard as I could. But I'm not outside. Baby. Still yeah. outside. Uh, Steve's just Still out there. there stroking it. You're clear. You know me too well. Get us there, big girl. We're going, boss. I also know you get lonely out there by yourself. One on the wheel, the other on the stroker. Well, that's what the left down cars are for. Yeah, I'm stroking it back here too, so don't worry. 40.294. Well, let's not stroke it together because that sounds a little bit gay. I'm, I'm the only true stroker in here though. But it's what's above my door. Well, you guys are stroking on the track. I'm stroking it in pit lane. Party of me right now. Inside. Careful, somebody Still might have to clean the windshield. Still inside. Oh. Clear. Man, I hate when it gets all over my steering wheel. Yeah, it's a bitch trying to clean this Alcantara. Oh. 40.947. I guess we can stop discussing the rest of the people here. Well, if you gotta kill all the fun, so be it. You wasn't a truck driver, Mike. I wouldn't take you serious. You get her gathered up there, 21. I met Marvin. Sorry, just messing with you. Three, three is coming up on the roof track. Inside. HP, you on the G27. Clear if you need it. 41. Uh, right now I'm using the truck master. Ah, fucking caution. What the heck was that? Three. Do you need to drink or you right? Just got loose, buddy. Close, I'm sorry, close. man. Alright, you're going to have a couple rounds in 30. What are you guys running for steering? I'm got it on default. I tried to stay low and I got loose again trying to stay low and then I lost it. I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry for getting into you there, 31. That's not safe you have. I'm doing a 16-1 and then uh, plus 4 on the degrees. Uh, it's a bit slower but safer. Where's space on, Steve? Um, and I'm behind the 14. Check it out, middle of the backstretch. Yeah, I use the 14 1 myself. I tried 14 to 1, but then I couldn't catch it off the corner. 14 1, that's the only way I can catch it. I go any lower, I can't catch anything. See, I'll be quite honest with you. No matter what I do, it doesn't feel much different. Like, I can kind of feel a little bit of a difference if I really yank it down to, like, 8 to 1, and that's, like, 18 to 1, and stuff like that, but from 10 to 1 to 14 to 1 to 16, I just don't feel anything. Uh, if, if I go below default, uh, it just seems like it's really, really twitchy. I ran 10 to 1 in practice, and I'm running the stock set up now.
See, what you guys don't know is that Steve's got a hack, and he doesn't run the fixed set when he comes in these races. He substitutes his own. That's what I thought. <laughs> Now, let's just be honest here. If that was the case and Dalton can confirm, I'd be doing a lot worse. I don't know half-ass what I'm doing there. Didn't you win the open race uh, yesterday? No, I didn't race in it. Uh, I mean, uh, Friday? Didn't race in it either. I'd have swore you was in an open and won it. I was going to win that one last week at Bristol when my stuff glitched out. I couldn't stay fuel and then I ran out. That was disappointing. Yeah, I, I was running third and got dive bombed to put in the fence. Oh yeah, right after that one, I did the sixth one at noon, I think, and this douchebag, oh, he bumped and runs me on the straightaway, he got up into my quarter panel and turned me, and I saved it, he, he started flipping out, he said, there's no way you should have saved that, and, um, I did, the next lap, oh, the revenge I got, I felt so terrible for doing it, but it felt so good. That's what Bristol's all about. Yeah, I managed to win two fixed races at Bristol last week, or, well, I don't guess it was last week, but when we were there, and uh, that's uh, only my fourth win in the Gen 6, two of them at Bristol and two at Martinsville. You see, when I gave him the bump and run, I did it the right way. I didn't do it to take him out. I did it just to move him out of the way, and it sure worked. behind the 31. Looks like you'll be lining up behind the 31. One to go. You'll be outside. One minute forty eight point five three eight. I can't pay me to join a road race in these things. I think the road course is
rock and roll here, man. Good look at your switches there so you understand what you got. Pace cars off, be ready. Green flag. One inside, one. Minute 42, point nine zero seven. Still there. Clear inside. Inside. Clear. Inside, inside. Still inside your door. Looks clear, clear, clear. Outside. Still out there. There. That was a good job. Outside. 43.381. Clear, clear, clear.
Yeah, there, bud. It's open. No, close, close. Come in, you be behind the 13. Dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I feel pretty damn sure I held it down, so I, I don't know what went on there, but I believe it was outside come down. No, I was holding my line, Marvin, and all of a sudden we got together. I don't know if it's a net code or, or what happened, but you, you were up against me before I knew it. Check it out. All I know is I've been wrecked out of every damn race in both the open and fixed this week. I wonder how you blow an engine by just running around slow. Like, I ain't hitting it. <laughs> I didn't downshift either yet. I'm still full of gear. Ground will be open to the caution car. Nope, didn't blink either. I'm pretty sure she's gonna say too much damage on mine. There was a glitch in uh, 2K3 that if you got both the water and the oil pegged to the bottom, that uh, you'd blow up under caution. Well, yeah, I was going down for the pace car. I lifted off the gas and the thing went boom. I'm like, huh? You're gonna be lining up behind the 28. Yeah, I collected you. I mean, well. Not like my video car was, you know, doing me any good. Now I have to throw smoke. Fantastic. I'm telling you, this is just not my day. Marvin, I got you. We can keep back across, bud. Sorry about that. Have a good night, guys. Uh, not too much. 43 required and 318 optional. 43 minutes or seconds? Seconds. Oh, I was going to say 43. I've never heard it that high. I've had a total between required and optional at almost 11. But that was at Dover where I was upside down and on fire the full length of the cockpit. 
I was watch or commentating this USRL race, and one of the commissioners like flipped her car at Darlington twice on the backstretch, and she came down pit road, and like the only damage she had was fenders, and they fixed it, and she won the race. I couldn't believe it. Wow, that's pretty incredible. Like, I had never seen that, and it didn't damage the suspension. You thought it would have slammed down suspension, bent the tire like it usually does? Nope. I saw someone do that to the dog leg at Phoenix. They clipped that curve, did a 360 in the air, landed on the wheel, and kept going on the panel. Looks like you're going to be lining up behind 11. to go. You're going to be on the inside. Get behind the nine. One minute forty seven point six one seven. Hey bud, come to the green. Be ready. Pace cars off. Be ready. Green flag. We're gonna be okay, man. Be part two. Get to him a pass. Doing a good job. One minute thirty-eight point four seven nine. Working outside, outside. Still out there. Outside quarter, in and out, inside, one wide, still inside, still inside, two wide, two wide, inside, still there, inside, one wide, still inside, two wide, inside, working the bottom, one only, quarter, clear. 
Just past halfway, but just past halfway. A lot of racing to go. Take care of your stuff. 43.27. Go high, caution, caution. What do you got for temps there? Radio check to the pit crew, guys. One, two, one, two. Closed, closed. You're behind the 23. Lighting up behind the 23. You should be starting behind the five. You're gonna be lining up behind the 26. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hell, I gotta be up at like six to head on over into Jersey. That Thursday next race, we're done by ten thirty. Yep, that's how it was Saturday at noon for me. We had two cautions. Pit road is open. We had one. All right, 17, was that you I got into on the start there in turn one? If it was, my bad, man. I didn't mean to. Line up behind the 26. 26. Got the lucky dog. Let them by on the outside. Get behind the three. Have to come around at 11. We're going to have to come around at 4. Alright, you're going to have to come around at 4. You're going to be lining up behind the 28. Where's 11? Got Man, you're an asshole, dude. You just made me get a pass under you for sitting on the fucking pit road like an idiot. That was some fucking bullshit right there. Where are you from, Jefferson? The damn 26, man. Kept telling him to pass me. He stopped behind me on pit road because I was waiting on him to pass me so I could get on pit road. He never would, so I finally took off and then it gave me a pass under you. Hey, it, uh, it told me to wait for a part of a press, so I was in the safe position. Have to come around and drive, come around and eight. Well, whatever, man. All you had to do is go on by me. You can find. No, it told me to wait for the five. So I elected not to go into the pitch, which is, which is what you should have done. 
I'm on 30. I'm on pit again. I need you by here. I'm around in five. Where are you from, John? Hey, Kentucky. Atlanta behind the tree. We're going to have to come around oh, in 26. a little bit of hillbilly in that accent. Yeah, I heard that. I love when he gets mad. No, I have to ask, Marvin. That day you and Barry were arguing. You guys are teammates. That wasn't real, was it? No, me and him are good buddies. We talk on the phone about every go. day. He's a uh, he truck driver, inside. too. So we, uh, we hang right, out you're gonna get have to together in the crib when we're passing each other. You see, that was funny shit because One, the race before that, me and Dalton, point, he's six, my team. Zero, we did seven. the same damn thing. And we caught on about halfway through that. Wait, I know Dylan Rafferty painted these guys' cars together. They've got to be teammates or something. And I was like, well, I'm just going to play along and argue along with them. Yeah, at first, Barry thought... But just take a second here, double check your steering wheel, get a good look at your switches. Ah, uh, bro. Hey, the car's off, be ready. Green flag. You're doing good, man. One at a time. You're doing good. One minute thirty-eight point eight three. it if we do get another restart. Christine, get that toy from that guy so he quit bother me. I'll sign it here. Close. Close. You're going to be lining up behind the 17. You're going to line up behind the 22. Lining up behind the 22.
Pit Road is open. You're going to be lining up behind the 21. Come around the 3. Looks like you'll be lining up behind the 21. Twenty-six. Got the lucky dog. Let them by on the outside. All right, buddy. Line up behind the twenty-six. have to come around the four. Good job, man. This is a good lap. Keep after it. Alright, you're gonna have to come around the gate. Get behind the five. You're gonna have to come around the gate. Alright, you're gonna have to come around the nineteen behind the time. We are on one to go. Should be on the outside this time. All right, looks like you're going to be lining up behind the 22. One minute, 56.7, eight, eight.
But get her cleaned up real well, man. Clean up those tires. Okay, the car's down. Be ready. Green flag. One minute thirty-eight point nine eight three. Good job, bud. Go get him. Inside. Still there. Clear. 41.959. Now, one thing for sure, everybody on the racetrack will be pissed off at somebody else on the racetrack before this race is over with. Single file, please. Yeah, it's not Close. Right. I finally uh, destroyed the car. So. Be behind the yeah, 22. Steve, last one, Tyler, way better, eh? Right? Well, I'm pretty sure he's the one caused me to wreck. I'm pretty sure I slipped on some grass clippings. <laughs> Might as well pit for the hell of it. Just to be 150% safe on fuel. Looks like you'll be lining up behind the 17. Alright, buddy. Line up behind the 22. Line up behind the 27. I remember the first time I ever did a pit stop. I didn't know you couldn't drive through people on pit lane. Oh, that was bad. 19. Got the lucky dog. Because I noticed Mr. you Mike. could when you're in your stall. So I thought you could everywhere. Whoop. Don't line up behind the 19. Yeah. <laughs> Get behind the 19. Come in to be behind the 27.
picker let me down here. Hey, I made that. 14 3. Yeah, I might as well 14 2. Get in, get on my level, guys. 12 3. I don't think I've ever had a pit stop that fast. That hack. Yeah, I got a camber set up for my pit crew, too. They turned those corners real good. That grip hacks look to see my out front. Does it matter on how you enter the pit? Does it change, like, the way that the faster or slower, depending on... <laughs> yes. Your, uh... Your, uh... The more pit stalls you drive through, it slows down your, um, pit crew, and also the where you stop at in your pit stall. It affects the timing of your picker. Yeah, I stopped beeping mine to the end. I was like 13-9. No way. The road is closed. There is still a random piece, but uh, all of that does matter. Yeah, having your wheels turn straight too, I reckon, maybe. I have a hard time seeing that little guy holding that little sign. Sometimes I miss him. Well, I also got the auto drive hack where uh, it just does it for me all on its own. Uh, autopilot? Yeah, that's why I can go 56 and not get a speeding penalty and not twitch off of 56. You know what? I've got uh, eye buzzer and I can go one mile an hour over with it and not get caught for speeding. Oh, watch out, we got a badass over here. <laughs> well, the countdown to your pit stall is nice, though, through iBuzzer, so. Yeah, I really like that. You know, if they add um, animated pit crews before they add, like, dynamic track stuff and, like, fix the pit road, black flags or sl slide through it and stuff, I will quit for a week. Maybe not, but I will be pissed. You'll write a stern letter. Yeah, I might not even do that. Like, when they added the animated dynamic cones and stuff, I was like, oh, it's cool and it's nice that they had that, but there's so many other things that they need to get done first. Like, the Lucky Dog at the time hadn't even been out, and they still don't 100%. Like, even now, it's not 100%. Yeah, but sometimes it's all about what's the easiest to make happen. One, so go. if it's easier to write One, code and make code, code down, they can bring reality to it. Okay. It's going to be on the outside. Behind the door. Pace guards off. Be ready. Green flag. Good man. You got your rhythm there. Like it. Uh, the road is open. One minute forty-nine point four eight. Inside. 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 
Clear, 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 clear. you, man. It's all on you. You make the call here. The road's closed. You'll be lining up behind the 31. Man, I was so heartbroken for Jeff. I'm not the biggest Jeff fan, but I think he really earned that win. I mean, he was fucking in the back twice and made it back up there. I thought Earnhardt made a damn good recovery uh, after he hit the wall. You know, if I would have been Larson, I'll be quite honest, I would have given Kyle the bump and run because you know damn well when Kyle was a rookie like that, he would have did that to you. Maybe not now that he's matured, but you're going for that win, double down, ooh. But that shows a lot of respect that he didn't do that. Well, I think he, I think he's still uh, recovering from all the. Open. 
Line up behind the 31. Got the lucky dog. Let them by on the outside. Line up behind the 19. Line up behind the 31. Best stop I've had in a while, 13-2. Yeah, I took an account of going through the pits and trying to get a clean stop this time, and I think it worked. Did you get a speeding uh, rod? Yep. 12 get speeding too. Ten four. Oh man, I'm I'm sorry, but I gotta laugh just a little bit because I was doing 57 like a third of the way down. Went 57 <laughs> twice. Well, I saw it click 59, so I'm close. guilty. My problem is I'll like look over to my keyboard or the button box to press something or send a text message, and I look back up. I'm going 65. I'm like, oh shit. You do know when you're trying to get damage paired under caution, you can come down the pit road. 14 mile an hour over and just get an EOL. If you hit 15, it'll give you a black for uh, once you go back green. One to go. Wait to get the line to double up. One minute fifty one point zero eight nine. We line up on the outside.
Speed smooth, speed smart. Stay focused. Looks like it be lining up behind the four. I uh, bet. Stay goes off. Leave it. Green flag. Good job, good rhythm. Let it roll through the center. The road is open. One minute forty six point one eight five. Working the bottom. Twenty laps to go next time by. Still their door. The other fucking ass man. We'll get them. Clear. Inside only, still there. Clear low, inside. Clear, clear. Inside, clear low. Inside, inside, inside. Still there. Inside is clear. Forty one point two six four. Inside. Still there. Still there. Clear low. Inside. Two wide inside. Inside. One wide. Still inside. Clear on the bottom. 40.947. Clear Outside. Still there. Forty point five nine six. Still outside. You're clear. Outside. Still outside. Clear.
Working the bottom. Clear, 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 clear. Forty point seven eight five. Ten to go this time by. Clear, clear.
For all of the cautions there were, there really wasn't any aggressive racing, really. I mean, everyone raced pretty good. It was just a couple little issues. Yeah, you should have watched uh, me and Eleven there the last few laps. I mean, it was hard, but it was clean. I just left my race, just ended. I finished on the little lap, but that's yeah, get all your radios where the, the good Jack, news ends. What about yours? Kind of packed up. 